my happy readers, it's Shed Time Stories with me, Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a rather curious story to share. The title is Mommy, Mommy, Where is the Moon? If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story is Serena Chia. And the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Sinem Kilik Rabito. Now we're going to meet a little girl called Caitlin. She is fascinated by the moon. Shall we read and find out what she learns? Mommy, Mommy, where is the moon? Mommy, Mommy, asked Caitlin, what is the that? That is the moon, Mom answered. I've loved it since I was little. Wait, Caitlin giggled. You were little? Mommy, Mommy, said Caitlin. Where is the moon? It's up there, said Mom. Are you looking hard enough? There! Caitlin pointed. It's hiding! Silly moon! Mommy, Mommy! said Caitlin. I don't see the moon! Mom glanced around. Look between the buildings, she said. It's playing peekaboo! Caitlin squealed. Mommy, Mommy, Caitlin pouted. Where is my moon? It's there, Mom said, even if you can't see it. Is it magic? asked Caitlin, looking all around. Well, my dear, you can't see the moon when the sun shines on the portion that is not facing Earth. We can only see the dark portion of the moon from Earth, explained Mom. This is known as the new moon, when the moon is not visible from Earth. Come out, come out, Caitlin cheered. Mommy, my moon is playing. Caitlin, Caitlin, said Mom. Do you know that Neil Armstrong, an astronaut, was the first person ever to walk on the moon? Wait, what? said Caitlin. We can't go there. If you have a rocket, Mum chuckled. Mommy, Mommy, asked Caitlin. Did the astronaut make a map to the moon? I'm sure there is one, said Mom. Why do you ask? I'm going to fly to the moon someday, Caitlin exclaimed. Caitlin, Caitlin, said Mom. Do you know why the moon changes its shape? After thinking for a moment, Caitlin said, So we will look for it. Good guess, praised Mom. As the moon circles Earth, the sun lights up a different portion of it. Even though the moon never really changes, its shape looks different every day. Sun, Earth orbit of the moon, waning crescent as seen from earth, last quarter, waning gibbous, full moon, waxing gibbous, first quarter, waxing crescent, new moon. Mommy, Mommy, said Caitlin, do you still love the moon? I love it more now said Mom, because it's your moon. Closing her eyes, 
Caitlin whispered. Good night, Moon. There are some great activities in the back of the book. Activity 1. Look at the pictures and match them to the story words. Activity 2. A crossword. Activity 3. Spot the five differences between these pictures. Activity 4. A maze. Help Caitlin to find the moon. What a beautiful story that was and how wonderful it was that Caitlin was so curious about the moon. What I liked was that how her mom could share her love for the moon with her daughter and help Caitlin to learn about the moon, why it changes. I wonder if you look out at the moon, what sort of moon do you think you will see? I hope you've enjoyed this Shed Time Story and if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you'll be ready for the next book we can share together. Bye bye! Da, da. Da, da.